these incredible hulks are on the brink of extinction. Each year, over a thousand rhinos are poached for their horn. Nowadays, more rhinos are being slaughtered than are being born. Helping rhinos is working to save them. The charity is raising funds to support South Africa's first all-female anti-poaching unit. The Black Mambas. Helping Rhino supporter Annika Svenska joins Sapiwe and Felicia. So you're on morning patrol. What does that involve? We're checking for tracks of poachers trying to get inside our reserve during the night. And we're checking for the fence if the, it has been cut because poachers like to cut the fence. Do you think it's mainly the rhino they're after? First it was the impalas and the buffaloes, but now it's the rhinos. How does it affect your family working as a black mamba? At first time they were afraid, like I will get caught. I uh, will get killed by lions or evil or something else. But since they are, they are seeing the difference that I'm making, they are happy. And then also, when I'm working here, they are paying me a salary, then I can take care of my two little daughters. So, Sapiwe, how did you feel when you first came across a rhino killed by poachers? Ah, oh, it was very much painful. It was so sad because seeing that poor animal lying there, helpless and then it felt so wrong. How often do you actually find signs that a poacher has come inside? We do find signs of poachers but not every day they're scared of us. They know that there's black mambas and they mean business. That's brilliant. <laughs> the mambas patrol over 20 kilometers of fence every day. They also check the bush for evidence of poachers. This is Alpha Alpha One. We are looking for snares. Poachers, they come for bush meat here. Oh, there's a dead buffalo. Oh, no. Let's check what has killed it. Oh, oh it was caught by a snare. Is that common for the snare to trap them around the ankle? Yes, it is. And how long would they take to die? Ah, this one, like a buffalo, it can take a month. A month? Yeah, Annika, I think I need to call this in to the office. Tangolima, Tangolima coming for Prav Mike Charlie. We are at Alpha Alpha One. We have come across a dead buffalo. We are now going to do 360 degrees. Often, when there's one snare, others will be set close by. Oh, look what we've got. It's a cable snake. They can be after a giraffe. They can be after an elephant for its task. Have you had any rhinos caught in these snares? Yeah, last week uh, our baby rhino, we call it Romeo. It was caught on a cable snake, but we have managed to remove the, the cable snake. So he's okay? Yes, he is doing very well. So what do you do now? Now I need to destroy okay. it. The team removed 10 more snares here, saving the lives of many animals. Some rhino babies are orphaned by poachers. The black mambas provide security and help Jade Aldridge, who cares for the orphans. How often do you feed? These babies are currently getting fed every four hours, so they get fed at 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 6 p.m., and then 10 p.m. The baby rhinos need dedicated carers around the clock. <laughs> and those noises, you wouldn't believe that they came from a rhino, would you? <laughs> so 
So in about 18 months, they'll be set free into the wild? Yes, they have to go back there and enjoy their life in the bush like the others. Until rhino poaching is stopped, orphanages like this are critical. In schools, the Black Mambas run the Bush Baby Education Programme. Joining a class, Annika and Simon Jones, founder of Helping Rhinos. Annie, good morning, Bush Babies. Good morning, ma'am. How are you, Bush Babies? Fine, yes, and how are you? Laywin runs the programme. You can sit down. Thank you, ma'am. So, today we have special guests. My name is Simon. I run an organisation called Helping Rhinos. And we in the UK are trying to help people like the Black Mambas here to protect the rhinos every single day. We also want to work with you, like the next generation, so the children whose job it will be to take over from the Black Mambas and protect the rhinos in the future. Anega, welcome. I'm <laughs> from I've been out here visiting the Black Mambas and they've been showing me what they do every day to help the rhinos. We have Felicia and we have Sapiwe. Would you come up and join me please? <laughs> and Sapiwe would like to say a few words. I just want to share a story about a rhino that was poached in our reserve. That that rhino was lying there, the blood was all over. They took both of the rhino's horn. Let us stop the poaching. Thank you very much. Please stop killing our rhinos. Please stop killing our rhinos. You guys have been selected to receive an award and that is for your performance in the field and what you stand for. Thank you. Simon, over to you. Okay, we're helping rhinos um, from the UK, a registered charity that's doing all that we can from afar to protect the rhinos. You've got the hard job going out there every day. We're just trying to engage with people and raise the funds that will help a little bit. This is our first ever Helping Rhinos Innovation in Conservation Award and I'm really pleased it's awarded to the Black Members for this year. Thank you Simon. Dedicated ladies need your support. You can sponsor a Black Mamba exclusively at helpingrhinos.org. Magnificent, a white rhino. But if we're not careful, rhinos could go the way of the dodo. It's not too late. You can really make a difference by visiting helpingrhinos.org.